Hello everybody, this is Drew Nail. Previously on Wind Waker, we got the bombs, right? Uh, right here. Got some bombs. Oops. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, I forgot that you have to go like that. And we also got the soup right here. I'm not going to equip it because I don't want to accidentally, you know, use it. Because there's a soup glitch. We also got Nehru's Pearl last time. So that allowed us to get to the Tower of the Gods. And that's where we are right now. So, let's uh, go in. Except not really, because I have to go get something first. I'll go to where we need to go, and then, uh, well, it's at, if you want to follow along, it's at Windfall, or Outset Island. Be right back. Ah. Seems kind of weird for it to be storming with the regular sailing music playing in the background. Oh, since Beetle's right here, we're going to get some more bait if he's selling any. Not sure, but might as well check. Because I accidentally used some. Yep, he is. Oh. oh, pirates sold me the bombs for cheap. Now's your chance to buy, buy, buy. By the way, Mr. Customer, are you acquainted with that? Oh, by the way, Mr. Customer, are you acquainted with that adorable little pirate girl? I thought he was talk. I thought he was gonna say, "Are you acquainted with our membership card?" And then I was just confused. You have a bashful look on your face, Mr. Customer. You can't hide it from me. Okay, so we need a bunch of... Nope. That's it. Now we're actually going to use one of the baits. And then run back in here and buy more. Because I pushed the wrong button. Okay, so what we need to do is go... I gotta get over here first. What we gotta do is go all the way back up there where uh, Tetra and, the sis and Link's sister were taken from. I forgot that there are actually trees on Outside Island and that these aren't like lookout towers or whatever those are called. I was watching uh, Wind Waker Chaos Edition and again by someone other than Pe Peanut Butter Gamer and got confused. Again. Oh, that was close. Oh, and I forgot that these are actually grass and not um, mailboxes. So now we have to go up here, change the wind again, and then fly across. Well, that's actually really fast. So now that we're in here, we'll want to run over to... What is that? Oh! Those... things. Uh, I don't know what they're called. So you want to go all the way up here. Oh, there's no ramp. I thought there was a ramp. Uh, and then switch to your bombs. Make sure you have enough bombs for this, I assume that the grass gives you bombs at this point, though. I mean, it should. But, like, I mean, Beetle is selling them if you don't have any. Wait! Oh, it didn't work. Too far away. So, this will explode the- oh, there's one rupee. <laughs> and there's, um... Oh, yeah, there's some bombs in the grass right there. Go down into the hole. And then, um, go up to the fairy fountain, and we will get something that will be very helpful in this next dungeon. We could get it after, because there will be a faster way to get it after this, but I figured that it's really important to get it now, so that we can 
get the benefits from it, rather than waiting until after the dungeon. You can now carry more rupees! Now you can hold up to 1,000 rupees! Oh! I forgot that the fairy- actually, I didn't know that the fairy fountain refilled, um, magic. I wasn't- I didn't think it refilled health either, but I'm glad that it also refills magic. I would have never guessed. But anyway, now- I assume we only have like a hundred and some rupees. Yeah, 142. But now we have more, uh... Now we have- oh. Now we can more easily fund the capitalist machine. So I'm gonna meet you back at the dungeon entrance. Oh no. Oh, I forgot that I didn't have dungeon... I mean, uh... The... Leaf equipped. How's the pig doing? Sorry, I can't pick up the pig <laughs> right now. I like how Link's arms... Let me see if I can... Oh, no. Yeah, there. I think that was good. So we're gonna go back to the, uh, back to the dungeon real quick. See you there. Oh, I don't... I think it was here. Yeah, because I went southwest to get here. I do like the color of the br blue rupee on the blue rupee wallet. I don't know if it's a, called the big wallet or not. I wasn't really paying attention. Yep, oh, wrong one. So we're getting the, uh, the C chart for the... Sea chart? No, we're getting the map for this, uh, not quadrant, this part of the sea. Yeah. Since it was right here. Oh, this is Shark Isle, I think. Tell me, small fry. Have you ever been caught in one of these, those cyclones? The wind deity, Cyclos, uses those cyclones to fly across the sea instantaneously. Or so I've heard. Could just be a rumor. Boy, if you had that power, you wouldn't have to spend so much time sailing back and forth across the sea all the time. Wouldn't that be nice, Fry? But let me tell you, there's no way he'll give up his power easily. You can't get near the guy. So you'll have to figure out how to shoot him from a distance. Don't you have a weapon that can pierce things from a distance? You know, whoop, whoop. I tell you, you get my point, Fry? Ah, so like a boomerang. The, uh, whatever I called it. And that's all I, oh, okay. So that's the end. Yeah, this is Shark Island. Hmm. A, um... A, uh, thing that can... No, oh, I pushed the wrong button again. Um... So we need to uh, reach down here. There should be something here. Ah. Ah. I need to...
There we go. Okay. So now I can... Is that under here? Oh, there it is. I wonder what's in here. Now that we've gotten the rupee bag upgrade, or the wallet upgrade, I guess, technically, uh, we'll be able to actually open these and not be able to not have to waste stuff. Oh, 20 rupees. Nice. So I wouldn't have wasted it anyway, but, you know, wait, where is the... Oh. I thought that was despawning. Uh, so now we can go right over here. So I'm going to go back to the dungeon again. This is actually a lot better just using the uh, the boomerang to um, do that. really difficult to keep an eye on where the treasure chest is uh, when you get close to it because like it disappears you know so you have to like keep your eye on where it was oh purple rupee nice um, so yeah now we're over 200 200 uh, rupees so like I said I'll get back to the dungeon Okay, so we're in this quadrant right here, or this square right here. I'm used to, uh... Nope. I'm used to the, um... I'm used to watching, um, Trigger Conroy playing, uh... The sequel to Wind Waker, Phantom Hourglass. I'm used to that in their quadrants in that game. So. So, and this is. Oh, another purple rupee. Nice. There's a lot of uh, money on the ocean floor. Is that. Oh, that's Beetle. Why is. Huh. Beetle must be. There must be one of Beetle's. Uh quadrant cities in. I mean, there are multiple beetles, but there is also one beetle. I don't have... Bye. Yeah, I don't have enough room for it. Um, yeah, we gotta keep going. Oh, that's kind of weird. The texture's, like, popped in suddenly. Ooh, blue rupees. I really like the uh, color of blue rupees. Is that it? Nope. Ooh, no. Ah! I missed it. That's disappointing. Well, let's go. Oh, wait. I went into the edge. So, this is where we're looking like. Not that... Uh, there is any limitation on the items that you can take into a dungeon, but, you know, just in case you're curious. So now, welcome to the next dungeon, the Tower of the Gods. Ah yes, the Water Temple. Makes me wonder if Nintendo decided to, like, combine... Oh, wait, there's no sailing in here. Makes me wonder if Nintendo, like, decided that they wanted to combine the previous dungeon. What would have been the previous dungeon for, uh... Nehru's Pearl? 
but with uh, what the t Tower of the Gods is, I'll show you. Well, we'll be going through it. Um, I also like how atmospheric this temple is. We could go a little faster, but I prefer to aim the bomb from the boat. There we go. Now we can actually jump off. As you Oh, that's weird. Yeah, this water, that waterfall keeps you back. So, um, oh no, gotta get away from the electric choo-choo. Oh, oh, and there's another one. Uh, okay, uh, back to here, whoop. Okay. Wait, green? So they give you... That doesn't make sense. Wait, you know what I just thought of? Can you feed feed the fish? Oh, I forgot. Can you feed the fish? You can feed the fish in the dungeon. Not sure why you would want to do that, but you can. So anyway, we need to pick up oh, we need to pick up this and then light these two um, torches and then oh, oh well I was gonna try to throw it at the yellow choo-choo but it was too far away so What's in here? Oh, a dry pendant. Ooh. Okay. Oh, this door's open now. Oh, I forgot. We have to go to another part of the dungeon first to do what's in here. I'm just going out all out of order, but at least we have the compass now. Uh, so... Oh wow, that looks... Eh. I can see what they're going for with the... Um, stained glass, but it doesn't look very good. Because it's... Um... Well, I was going to say the 480p resolution makes it not look very good, but the other textures look better, so I'm not sure what's going on. Must have been, like, they probably figured that no one would actually look up there or care. So it was inconsequential. Um, so... Yeah, we gotta go back out here. And, uh... And go across. So I'm at the top now. I'm gonna just... Jump across here. And I'm just gonna swim, because it's... Faster swimming than... Using the boat, for some reason. I think this is the next... Yeah, this is the next part. I think. I don't even know what I'm doing. But... Oh, no. Um... Thank you. 
Hmm. I'm just gonna ignore it. Okay, so I need to drop it. Hmm, okay, so you have to grab this box here. And then climb on top. And now we throw it. Oh. Okay. There we go. At least it, um... At least the bomb made it stop doing anything for me. Okay, so where's the... Where's the box? Did the box, box explode? That doesn't make any sense. I'm gonna push this box over there. And then get it again. So I'm just gonna stand right here. Yeah, the box boxes do explode. Oh, that's nice. So we're gonna smash this pot right here and there's nothing else. Um. Hmm, okay. Oh. Oh wait, I think I know, I think the boxes are supposed to be wooden. So that would make sense. Yeah, there wouldn't, I think. Oh, there's another one right here. I didn't see it. Oh, okay, so that's why. Um. That's why it, um. That's why there's one on the other side to kind of make you, uh, think there's something worth it and then there's not or to make you look around more or something I don't know for sure not sure what's in this chest it's probably like a joy pendant or something hopefully it's something actually good oh you got the dungeon map oh uh, yeah that's kind of important <sighs> Um, the, oh, I guess they respawn or something. Well, that's scary. There we go. Oh, it got rid of the others. That's good. I'm glad. Not sure why though, I, th I would assume that like it got shocked or something. So I'm gonna go over to that other alcove. I don't like block pushing puzzle puzzles. I'm really not a fan of all the waiting around in this dungeon. There we go. I need to change this to something else. Oh, a joy pendant and nothing. See, there's so much waiting in here. Oh, that's oh, that's nice that the uh, boat gets moved right over beside you. Oh, and the oh, I thought we were gonna get crushed on the ceiling. Um. I don't know for sure where to go next because this is just like... Oh no. Okay. Yeah, actually it does make sense that they put the boat right here so that you can get around without drowning. So now, we go 
And here, smash these pots. Well, they got some stuff in them in it for us. And now... Oh, yellow rupee. I forgot that those existed in the game. Um, but those give you 10. So right here is a part where like you can do do a glitch and it makes you go off the edge or something and then like you can get around the door it's used in speedruns but I mean most people probably already know that so what you need to do you might think oh you just step on this it opens the door and then you keep going but no you have to take this and then drop it that's weird, it kind of showed that it was still, the button was still available, but not really. Oh! Okay. Nothing. There's something in there. Oh. Oh. Boxes. Oh. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, a glowing rainbow bridge. Nice. Um, oh. Oh. So this must be time then. Sort of. Magic timing. And there's the glowing rainbow bridge of... Bridgeness. I don't know. Now I have to walk back across across it and it goes away again. There's so much waiting in, in the final video that I'll be editing out, so uh, don't worry. This looks like a chess piece, but it's not. I like how it kind of glows at the top. So we have to take this. Oh, that's cool. So it has like the, the Triforce emblem on there and then you can't really see it too clearly on the top because you can't like zoom in like that you know uh drop and then it lets out a beam of light and we can move on to the next section of the dungeon i really like that blue glowing purple blue whatever glowing color up there and then like the blue that goes to green at the top or purple that goes to green i guess I really like that. Can we just ignore the boat in here? Maybe. Well, that's why I said maybe. Link is drowning. There we go. Oh, n oh no, I think it's... No, it's not that one. Oh. Nope. Okay, good. Okay, now we set it down gently right on the button go over oh, go over to this one no there we go oh yeah good so in here the need to light torches But, whoops. Oh, I thought that was going to make all those torches uh, catch on fire, but this is not um, the newest Zelda game, Breath of the Wild. This is not Breath of the Wild. So, I really don't like this. I don't really like block pushing puzzles like this. I didn't, I don't remember. I must have blocked out block these out from ha block blocked them out from my memory or something i'm really not like i said i'm really not a fan of block pushing puzzles at all these are not fun it's not a challenge it just wastes my time and then with the water you have to wait around until the water level is down again so that you can keep moving the blocks like I'm just sitting here I have to wait for the water to go back down so I can move that block over 
a little and then put it right here. So, oh. is that okay? Yeah, I think that's okay. Okay, so now we need to pick up this torch. Oh, you know what? Yep. Nope. You know what I just realized? I think you can like jump down and then just... Actually, no, I don't think you can do that. Ah, I'm bad enough at jumping in this game, let alone doing this. So I'm just going to keep this in the torch until it goes back up. Ah. Okay, I'm going to put that box over there on the side. Actually, you know what? I'm going to get this box a little further. Like that. Because then I can more easily get right on there. Because, like, there's a really big jump. And, like, I tend to miss it. So then I can jump over to here. And then over there. I hope that works. Oh no. Oh, you know what? I think I can like, I don't know if I can do this, but I might be able to like. Oh, whoops. Never mind. I'm going to leave that one there just in case. Um Oh no, I've used all the things. I'll need to throw one up here. Drop. What? Why doesn't it? Well, I guess I'm going to have to just... Well, that was weird. I guess I'm just going to have to go out and back in, reset the room, and I'm going to have to put it out all back. Okay, this should be good. So I need to grab one of these. Oh, I missed. I don't remember doing this. I really don't. Oh no. Yep. Puts it out. Oh, and there are only two. Wait, is there one over here? No. Yep. Finally. That was tedious. Oh, and all that for a key. Thanks. Oh, and of course. Can't go without, um... Can't go a room without getting trapped in there by a thing. Okay, that was horrible. Let's just forget about that and go back out here. Yeah. Oh, that was that thing, glowing thing making noise. So we need to just swim. I think we're gonna accidentally drown. I don't think the, uh, yeah, so that's why the, uh, that's why the boat's in here. Because otherwise, where's the boat? That's weird. Does the boat go back to the beginning? Oh yeah, I see it on the map. 
Okay. Now I can just get right back out now that I've had my air refill. I can just sit right here and wait. There we go. Is it up here? Yeah, it's up here. No, it's not. It's down there. Okay. So they're just... Uh, they're just not even waiting for us to finish the... Uh, thing in this room first before um Oops. there we go oh ah and a nice and another magic rainbow bridge nice thank you no way it meant rainbow steps this time Oops, I pushed the pedestal with, oh, that disappeared, with, um, my feet, I guess, I don't know. Okay, this is going to go back down, go back up, so we need to wait for that. It's really nice how Audacity has like a big time, elapsed time display now. It's a lot easier to see rather than the record thing on OBS, but it's still important to make sure that OBS is recording. So like I can just kind of glance at Audacity. Oh yeah, and then I have to run well, as fast as I can up here and then drop. Oh, so that's a pink. Um, beacon. There's a pink beacon in that one. It goes from red to pink. Oh, and actually at the top it goes to purple again. That looks nice. And then on the other one it's blue. Both of those look really nice. So now we can go right into the next part of the dungeon. 